What's up everybody, Kier Gomes here and welcome back. In today's episode, we are going to be taking a look at a deck of cards that I didn't think I was going to be reviewing. Mostly because I didn't know I was going to get them. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Serious B V2 playing cards by Kevin Yu and Riffle Shuffle. This was actually a gift from one of my subscribers, and I figure in order to do it proper justice, we gotta review it on the channel. Before we get started, please do drop a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, roll that intro and get you guys on your way. Let's go. So what is the Sirius B V2? Um, well, I don't have the V1, so I can't compare them. The tuck case is done in all white cardstock, nice and glossy. But you can see it has these kind of like lava drips that start barely on the front, wrap all the way around the side, and then become way more uh, vibrant and prominent on the back. So nice and standard, no text on it. One side says Sirius B. The other side says nothing at all. The bottom has some ad copy and information about Riffle Shuffle. Nothing on the top, pretty standard, pretty bare for a tuck case, not bad. Inside the tongue flap, you can see it says, made on earth by humans. The focus is driving me crazy. Let's look at the cards. Ooh, 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 ooh. that feels nice. So your back design looks like this. It almost has kind of like a sun uh, exploding in the middle or like maybe like a, you know, some kind of marble pattern, but it looks really good. Um, kind of looks like a planet. And you can see it's got these beautiful kind of splashing paint blotches behind it. Uh, mostly done in yellows, orange, and red, but there is some purple and blue kind of creeping in behind it there. That actually looks really good. Uh, the V1, uh, I think was just like red and blue colors. So adding this, uh, kind of advanced palette, I think looks really nice. Kind of reminds me of the Pulse Cardistry Touch deck. Your jokers are gonna be nice and simple. It's two silhouettes of what looks like a dog. Definitely a dog. Uh, filled in with that Series B uh, kind of paint splatter in there. Uh, I think these were also the same-ish jokers that were on the V1. Uh, not bad, I, I like Simplistic, so. I don't, I don't know what the significance is of the dog, so if you do, or if there is one, let me know down below. Also nice and simple for your Ace of Spades, it's just an enlarged spade pip, again with that Sirius B paintwork filling in that Ace. Below the Ace it says produced by Kevin Yu, Riffle Shuffle Playing Card Co. Alright now as far as ad cards and gaff cards. You are gonna get one gaff card. It is a double backer. The Sirius B V2 back design on one side and an alternate colorway on the other side. Maybe this is a hint for V3. If so, I like the way it looks. I love those colors. You could use that for a magic effect. I'm sure there's a bunch you could do with it. Uh, color changing deck routine type thing, but. And you also get a Riffle Shuffle ad card. Just has the Riffle Shuffle logo with the Sirius B paintwork inside of it. Not bad. All right, now the rest of your cards are completely custom, so we have a lot to get through. It's hard to tell on camera, but you can see that the inside of the spades is actually done in kind of like this blue watercolor. It's very subtle. It looks really good. Maybe you can see it better like that, but also custom shapes, so nice. Here's what your spades look like. I like it because it's kind of standard, you know? I mean, if, if they were solid colors, nobody would question if this was a standard deck or not. All right, now your core cards are where you get into most of the customization. You can see uh, they took bicycle standard courts and just stripped them and mutilated the artwork to make it look like uh, kind of a bunch of paint splashes making the shape of these court cards. This um, kind of reminds me of the faces of the uh, Memento Mori deck, and I'm not a fan of the Memento Mori deck, but on here, I think it works a little bit better. And this was a deck I, I would say mostly made for cardistry, so not really a huge deal with all the customization. Uh, you can see instead of red hearts and diamonds, you get these orange kind of watercolor pips. It doesn't look bad, it doesn't look bad. I'm not crazy though about the court cards. It's the only thing that I'm not sold on. Clubs look nice. Those probably are the most standard looking. 
Those giant pips, I love that. And there's your hearts. This is what the deck looks like in a fan. You'll see that again when we talk about the handling, but look how pretty that is. That is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, so that's pretty much what the cards look like. Let's switch angles and talk about what they feel like. So in terms of handling, uh, these cards are printed by the United States Playing Card Company, so uh, you can pretty much bank on the fact that they're gonna feel really good right out of the box. Uh, one thing that I definitely noticed with this deck is right away you can see how thin it is. It's definitely crushed stock. I believe it's crushed bicycle stock. So very thin, uh, making the cards extremely, extremely flexible. There's that new dribble sound. Nice. The cards look like in a fan. Very nice, I like that. If you fan them the other way, that's what you get. Also nice. Yeah, I really like I really like the way these cards feel in the hands. They're, they're thin, but also very smooth. So. Uh, you're kind of seeing that pop up a lot more these days. If I had to compare uh, the way that this deck feels right out of the box to another deck, I would say it compares very closely to the uh, Fontaine Carrots V2 and V3. Uh, those cards feel almost identical to this, and those are, in my opinion, one of the best handling decks of Fontaine's, so. Let's see how they Pharaoh. Top to bottom as expected. Now this was a deck made for cardistry, so in movement you can see it definitely has its appeal. It's very, very uh, eye-catching, I would say. This is definitely a deck that if you're doing cardistry, uh, people will notice. <laughs> it catches the eye, it's very, very uh, vibrant and colorful, and it's just nice to look at. I gotta see what a giant fan looks like with this deck, because fans look pretty dope, so let's see. Ooh, yeah. Not as cool as I was expecting, but still looks great. Snappiness check. Wow, okay. That was, uh, that was amazing. Now, a question that I often get asked uh, in reviews is would I use this deck for magic? Uh, to be honest, no, I, I wouldn't. Uh, it's not that you couldn't, you definitely could. Uh, the, the court cards are really the only thing that uh, to me kind of ruins it for magic. But you definitely could. Um, I would still prefer to use a standard deck if I'm performing magic. I think this is just a little bit too suspect for me. But look how good they look under pressure. Ooh, very nice, love that. And uh, there you go. So, all right guys, thank you so much for watching my review of the Sirius B V2 playing cards by Kevin Yu and Riffle Shuffle. If you're interested in picking up this deck for yourself, I believe it is available at most Magic retailers. Uh, I would say try riffleshuffle.com for starters. And if you can't find it there, maybe playingcarddecks.com will have it. In general, I do actually really like this deck. I wasn't sure if I was going to. I was not a huge fan of the, the aesthetic of the first version. Uh, this one I like a lot more though. These are some really nice colors. Um, and the way it handles for me is an absolute highlight. I think this is probably one of the best feeling decks uh, that Riffle Shuffle has ever produced. And that is saying something because they have produced a lot of decks and most of them feel great. Thanks again for watching guys. I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of their day. I know I will. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.